express their concerns over the abuse of religion by cult pastor Mackenzie as to the rising death toll witnessed in Shakahola forest. A section of religious leaders have come out to strongly condemn the cultic act and urged faithfuls to be vigilant to their denominations. On Monday, President William Ruto categorically mentioned that there is no difference between Mackenzie, who pretends as a pastor and a criminal, and that the government is on the course to bring down people who use religion to advance weird and acceptable ideologies causing losses of lives. James Othiambo with that report. Kenyans have expressed their concerns over the abuse of religion by cult Pastor Mackenzie as to the rising death toll witnessed in Shakahola Forest. Exhumation exercise is still ongoing to recover the bodies of the victims of cult Pastor Mackenzie who starved his followers to death in the name of fasting. Angry Kenyans have come out to strongly condemn what is being witnessed in Kilifi, most of them questioning the late intervention by the police. My names are willing to know Picho Atila. It has really caused panic among the Christianity. And what we are really looking into is the government now to act to make sure whatever, uh, uh, whatever comes in place as a religion, Mackenzie, Pastor Mackenzie is not alone. He must be under somebody's umbrella. And we are really asking the government to go deeper into this thing and find out. My name is Jim Isaac Watila. I think it's also better, it's also wise to have these pastors probably go through a certain level of education. It, had, it somehow, it somehow uh, keeps, keeps track of these people. We can know the people we are dealing with. How? Because uh, if, if we are reporting someone is, uh, is, it cannot be found, then it's their duty to try and find these people. You see like the, the air hostess who was, uh, who was lost, it, uh, they, they reported the case. They were looking for her, but it seems like the police were, were, were dumped on it. They were, not, they were not following it up. So Tadayo, Dingondo, Kamakenzi, anaripu kine ya makanisa. Sababu anaripu kine ya makanisa, also sana kine ya wakristo, kufanya vitu kama yo kuwa watu, kine inaripika ya wakristo, hiyo tunaona neshima mbaya kukosea wa Kenya. Kitu ingine, kufanyika hii vitu, wale watu wanaishi pande hiyo, tunashangaa walikuwa wapi vitu kufanyika kama hiyo, pastor Mackenzie kufanya vitu kama hiyo, na watu wako hapo. Kwa hivyo, hata sirikali yiko hapo, majirani wako hapo, tunashangaa wako ona vitu kama hiyo, huyo mtu pastor alikuwa nafanya kumaliso watu kuwa na mna hiyo, na nja. Exhumation exercise is still ongoing to recover bodies of the victims of cult pastor Mackenzie, who starved his followers to death in the name of fasting. Death toll continues to rise as angry Kenyans are questioning the late interventions of the police and how many more graves yet to be dug. President William Ruto has termed the Shakahola incident as terrorist in nature and called for the arrest of the sect leader Paul Mackenzie. In Kilifi, in Shakahola, is akin to terrorists. There is no difference between Mr. Mackenzie, who pretends and postures as a pastor when in fact he is a terrible criminal. Terrorists use religion to advance their heinous acts. People like Mr. Mackenzie are using religion to do exactly the same thing. I want to say that the government of Kenya and I have instructed the agencies responsible to take up the matter and to get to the root cause and to the bottom of the activities of religious or people who want to use religion to advance weird, unacceptable the death toll continues to rise in Shakahola Forest as the number of confirmed deaths is at 83. The DCI and the Kenya police are carrying out operations of exhuming bodies hoping to rescue more victims. James Odiambo, GBS News.